All right, guys, so we're at a special event today. Uh, it's a reveal of a car called uh, Monte Monterosa. Um, so basically has, it's an open cockpit using a Huracan V10. So very special event. I'm look, excited to uh, check out this car and check out what other car comes here today. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. And uh, yeah, let's check out some cars. So here it is guys, based on the uh, Gallardo platform. It's called the Monterosa and it's an open cockpit, um, absolute beast of a machine. It produces about 600 horsepower, uh, weighs about 2,600 pounds, um, but very cool build. Uh, very reminiscent of the uh, DDE's Lamborghini Huracan uh, Aperta that they built. So the open cockpit and I uh, love the details of these forged carbon here. Uh, just absolutely love how this looks. Looks like it's gonna start it up. It is based on the, uh, I think it's the Gallardo uh, V10. So produces about 600 horsepower, 2,600 pounds. So you can do the math. The power to race ratio is going to be absolutely insane. Um, but let's check out some more details on the car. All right, so checking out the rear. Look at this forged carbon details here for aero. But I just love that you can just see the entire uh, back. Really cool how this car looks. Look at that. And he's got the uh, Olin suspension. Very cool. Uh, about 25 of these are going to be made, so very limited. But go ahead. Because I have Mav with me all the time, so it's very common to get interrupted. And I love it, you know, because Mav loves it. Uh, but yeah, so we're just having a little bit of fun. So I was told that this was based on, the engine is based on the uh, uh, Gallardo Super Trofeo. So very special car. How insane does this look? Look at the aero package right over here. <laughs> but essentially it's like a mini cart, mini go-kart and on steroids. An open cockpit. Really love the, uh, the interior of the Super Trofeo. Of course, you can see it right there. The seats as well. But really insane build. Look at all the details on the forged carbon. Very nice. bag that it comes with you can put a little mini luggage inside uh, but as you can see it's the v12 amg which is a uh, dying breed unfortunately but hopefully if pagani keeps making them we'll see them check out the de details on this pagani and up and close with the interior I'm not a big fan of this interior. I covered this in my last video, but check out all the carbon fiber inside. How insane. And I didn't notice before, but 
I realized there was uh, air induction here for the airflow. Uh, maybe this is to pull off the tires or something. But coolest thing about Pagani is that these are active aero. So under braking, it comes up, um, kind of acting as like um, DRS in Formula One. Uh, and it has the same thing in the rear as well. Let me just show you guys. So same thing in the rear. These little flaps come up. Uh, in the braking to allow for um, better, I guess, like stoppage uh, when you're braking hard, uh, and then goes down when you're at a top speed. But really cool detail. Very nice. Don't you just love the exposed carbon? All right, guys. So that wraps it up for today. Uh, really cool car. I got to talk to the owner about the uh, Monterosa and uh, they're doing a, I thought it was supposed to be 25 limited, uh, but apparently it's only going to be 15 uh, cars built based on the Gallardo uh, Super Trofeo and it's going to be customized to each owner and uh, they're going to do more limited runs um, once they sell out on the current model. So very cool car i'm looking forward to more unveiling they said if the owner wants uh they're gonna do either private or public uh, unveiling so uh right here at the ancillary studio so stay tuned like share and subscribe and see you guys next time